All right, and uh, welcome everyone to the Ails and Fails Twitch stream. I'm your host, Aowulf. Happy Thursday afternoon, everyone. And uh, apologies for the lateness of my uh, broadcast. Unfortunately, I had to uh, fight off a load of laundry. And, uh, you know, loads, loads of laundries can be... Uh, hefty depending on what you've thrown in there this one happened to be especially hefty unbeknownst to me uh, you can try and guess how that uh how that worked out so unfortunately we lost 30 minutes of uh streaming once again my apologies but uh now that we're here i, I think uh i think we're gonna settle up cozy and move forward with our game this is uh the thursday retro block in the ales and fails twitch stream and as you'll recall, we're bouncing between Banjo-Kazooie and uh, Super Metroid. Last week we played Super Metroid. If you'd like to see that, uh, go ahead and check out the VOD. Last time we played Banjo-Kazooie was actually two weeks ago, uh, which uh, anyone viewing at that time might remember. Uh, I had a pretty interesting error with my computer and I lost about the last 10 minutes of the stream. So uh, yeah, I was uh, less than happy. But enough reminiscing about the past. Let's go ahead and move forward with uh, what's on tap today. So uh, <clears throat> if you've been following me on the social media and I'm Ails and Fails on both Twitter and uh, Instagram, you may have noticed that I uh, checked this in recently. This is Arcade Zero. As you can see, the first thing that catches you or I is the artwork. And of course, since I'm looking at this as a mirror, I can't don't I can't quite know how I uh, I'm supposed to roll the can. Okay, so it's a it's a scene where several arcade machines are uh, all busted up, and it looks like a wasteland. I, I see Space Invaders here, NBA Jam, Miss Pac-Man. I uh, I can't say that I disagree with the artwork selection. This one is. Uh, a hazy IPA made by, if I'm not mistaken, Casa Agria, which I believe translates to Sour House. Uh, if we're talking about Spanish, not as strong in my Spanish as I used to be. But what's a, what's a hazy IPA? If you're familiar with conventional IPAs, they're also known as West Coast IPAs. Uh, and those tend to be bitter, and the reason why they're bitter is because uh, the hops that you add into them, hops being one of the four components of beer, um, they actually get boiled uh, for a long time. And so you see things like 90 minute IPA for like, a, what is the name of that brewery? Dogfish Head, which means that the hops have been boiled for that amount of time. And what boiling hops does is it actually causes uh, bitterness to uh, uh, boil out of the hops and into the wort, which is uh, the beer that you're making, which makes a very, a very once again, bitter beer. I'm not a fan of uh, West Coast IPAs. Uh, all power to you if you are. Uh, we just uh, don't share flavor pro profiles. Hazy IPAs, on the other hand, don't have this... Uh, concern. While they might have the same exact hop content, they're actually only thrown into the fat during fermentation. And uh, what that actually does, it, it allows the broth to gather the aroma and flavor of the hops. And what you end up with is a very aromatic, fruity even uh, concoction, which is delicious. Uh, hazy IPAs are generally, generally unfiltered, like uh, a lot of... Um, a lot of uh, Hefeweizens or wheat beers. Let's go ahead and open up this guy. <sighs> Always happy when we don't have a spillover. And, and we have our tulip glass. So you can see very cloudy, hence their name Hazy IPA. I know some locations call them foggy IPAs and they're also known as New England IPAs. A lot of the fruit flavors that you get from these are like orange and uh, 
grapefruit. Uh, but there's uh, they've got a wide range, and some of them are even more like pineapple and mango. Uh, so let's go ahead and taste this one. Fang and ale. <clears throat> so yeah, it almost tastes like you're drinking uh, orange peel, to be honest with you. Um, and I'm not trying to suggest that that's unpleasant. It, it's just uh, in addition to the robustness of the beer itself, it actually simply uh, <clears throat> puts that forward. Uh, uh, there, there's there's got to be a better way to describe that. But uh, I certainly like it. Uh, as you can see, quite, quite hazy there. Um, very enjoyable. So let's go ahead and check out what uh, Untapped says on this. So Arcade Zero. Arcade Zero is a hazy IPA brewed with flaked oats, flaked wheat, and golden naked oats, giving it a silky, soft, full body, dry hopped with a beat em up combo of Citra, Nelson, Galaxy, and Strata. And all those four are hops. I, I don't know my hops very well, so I don't know exactly what uh, what those entail, but uh, it's a very specific combination there. Um, yeah, so I, uh, I certainly agree with the flavor and I suggest you, if you see it, uh, that you have one. <sighs> Let me go ahead and update my ticker before we move forward. Otherwise, how would you know what I'm drinking? And there it goes. But with that, <clears throat> let's go ahead and move on to our game. Let's go. Okay, and let's put up the volume here. Of course, the old... Uh... I always forget what is the bu button combination to load to spend point. <sighs> now, I believe we were here. As I recall, we were actually not in a very good spot. We were low in energy. And we were also just... Why is my camera not centering behind me? That's annoying. Uh, one of the things about Mad Monster Mansion, but uh, Banjo-Kazooie in general, is just the fact that uh, uh, a lot of the locations have locked cameras, and so uh, you can't actually see what you want to see. And I think we were trying to lay eggs on all of those uh, flower pots. Okay, one more. And of course, the best part of this whole thing is just trying to remember what my buttons are. Please just, just go in. I beg you. That is one high pot. This is a uh, riveting television. <laughs> I think in my entire history of playing this game, this has got to be the longest time I've taken to actually put an egg in a pot. <sighs> challenging folks, challenging. But at least, uh, at least we did it. Got a piece for our troubles. And actually, what I do want to see is um, how much we have here. That's. Uh, I always forget my accept and cancel in this game. 
Okay, so five jiggies, no honeycombs, 57 notes. One thing I do wish is that getting a jiggy would at least replenish some of my life, but it's a little too early to wish for such conveniences in these games. What was this, the third, sixth generation of games? This is, uh, this is topical, uh, whoa. Where are we? Portrait Chompas. Ah, oh, thank goodness. Some more, uh, yellow feathers. Those are the only ways to actually get through, uh, the undead. some upgrades for this. Is there anything else in here? Doesn't seem like it. See if there's any other fun windows, like Windows 95. I think this door is open-able, and then I can probably climb up, or maybe that was wishful thinking. More than one way to skin a cat. Probably need the talent trot. The thing about the talent trot is uh, it's wonderful except for the fact that, uh, please, just... Uh, it's way too fast for some tight corners. <clears throat> and uh, if anybody saw the Nintendo Direct the other day, uh, they released a, or they will be releasing a whole new batch of uh, N64 games, among them the fabled GoldenEye. Not, uh, not my cup of tea, to be perfectly honest with you. I really wish uh, they would have uh, done uh, Banjo Tooie. I still have to finish that game. And these clocks don't have a ooh, treasure. I like treasure. What is this? Ooh. Come on. Why? Why? Ah. Why? That's okay. Let's, uh, let's play Steady Netty. Let's try again. For what it's worth, I actually like uh, Mad Monster Mansion, but uh, uh, it is it is surprisingly difficult. But the one thing I actually don't care for is just the fact that the music never actually picks up. It's actually just church convent the entire time. Just a church organ and such. Okay, let's try again. <laughs> no, come on! Why'd you do that? Uh, that was ridiculous. <sighs> like Pink once said, try, try, try. Any fan, fans of uh, Pink out there? I once went to see her in concert. She had a very athletic performance on the trapeze. Amazing woman.
Alright, let's try this. Third time is a win. Or so they say. Okay, don't don't walk off. There's like boundaries there, you can just not do that. Ah, there's a jolly jetpack. Jet pad. Also that's not what it's called. Do you ever find yourself renaming things? Just because their real name annoys you. Hello. Okay, now I've gotta find my way down uh, without having to damage myself. Okay, good enough. Uh, let's just go through the door. Is there anything on this side? Doesn't seem like it. Let's go back down. Life is good. Life is good. I am struggling to find out which one is the one. Oh, I think for this one, you actually have to race using the shoes. One place that I still haven't gone through here is the maze, <coughs> edge maze. And of course there's the whole uh, area with uh, the pumpkin. And uh, just a second here, real life seems to be calling. Yeah, let's go find that pumpkin power-up. It's not really a power-up. It's more of a... More of a uh, transformation. Once you have one, you can't stop. That jump. And if I'm not mistaken, the pumpkin can actually, um, uh, what do you call it? It can actually uh, stand, withstand the. Uh, thorns on those edges. frame rate is far too much for this uh, switch. Okay, so I think this is... I have to, I have to look at the route first actually before, before just jumping onto the challenge. So we go down, we go through here. Ah, turn with me friend, turn with me. And then we go through here into that door. All right, let's do it. <clears throat> Running shoes challenges are incredibly demanding, I find. Wow, I'm impressed by 
myself. Okay, where are we? Thank you. Okay. So this looks like a chapel. And of course there's ghosts there which are largely invincible. I think I'm supposed to go... Whoa, hey. It's a bit too close for comfort. Uh, let's check out the chairs. No, this is no good. Where's my wonder wing? Just, just get it. Wow, okay. Uh, you guys were chasing me. Why wouldn't you just jump into my invincibility? I should have not done that. Start this stream, that is. Now I might get those afterwards. There's musical notes on top of all of those chairs. I fail. What are you doing? Where, where'd you go? I didn't realize you played something. Mod sand. Okay, go ahead. I'm ready today. No, 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 oh. Just trying to make sure I don't hit the notes. No, no! Oh my god. <sighs> I still got hurt. I don't, I, don't, I don't know why I'm celebrating. Actually, I'm not even celebrating. <sighs> Mod's end. I'm gonna have to test my luck with um, those beehives. Ha! 
And also here's a honeycomb, right? No, of course not. I'm never that lucky. Ooh. I also don't want to die. What was I talking about real life? And of course there's some gold feathers up there. Oh wow, I misjudged that. I thought it was just a platform that was right there. sake of completion that uh, they've got nothing. The sake of completion. Come on, just... I feel like I'm uh, one of these people that uh, fall under the ice. done it for a bit. Okay. I guess I could. Let's get that feather. Oh, beautiful. He's just gonna block the way. Seems like you've got nothing left to do. Why do you- why do you chase me? Ah, saved by geometry. Ah, the witch switch. Witch switch, you said? Witch switch. I believe you actually have to break through that eye in order to get that though. Which might involve like a beat bomb. Beat bomb. Sounds like a good name for a sandwich. Okay, two bats. These are chances to get some honey. <clears throat> you know it is unfortunate that the first thing that you get from Cheeto, the cheating book, is eggs. I find you need less of them than you need the red wings or the golden wings. Steps back, one step forward. Okay, is there anything here? Doesn't seem like it. I also not, don't want to fall to my doom. Is there an easy way to come down? I 
bet there isn't. Are we on the long side? I need to fall close to that church organ. Yeah. Just trying to avoid too much fall damage. That's my best shot. I, I can't see anything. Thank you, game. Thank you. Give me the best possible camera angle to do this. Uh, all of those, that bat hunting, useless. collecting the things on the chairs. Ah, <sighs> what a waste. I'm gonna have to just uh, try my luck with the honeycombs. Why, just run, dude, just run. Trying the same with the other one. Looks like safely. Okay, I'm in a little better shape. No more room for fall damage. I just have to avoid those blasted ghosts. Otherwise known as a uh, booger ghost. Are you just... Uh... Why? This is not... I can't... Remember how I tried to kill you with Wonderwing? And how you were just floating about? Do I even have a... Oh, I have two, okay. How do I activate? Just activate the thing, dude! Oh my goodness, did I waste one without... <sighs> there's no way, there's just, there's just no way. I'm going to have to act, literally look up online how to activate Wonder Wing because clearly it's not a natural uh, button uh, pr uh, combination. Wonder Wing, Banjo Kazooie. Why does it always fail from activate? Uh, how, how do you activate Wonder Wing? C down. Okay, so. Okay. Second here, folks. <clears throat> All right, let's go back to this thing. So, C down. <coughs> <coughs> Unfortunately, we know only kill one. Is it even worth it? I don't have two Wonder Wings, so it's not gonna... Okay, everyone watching, remind me to come back into the chapel. There's no point in me trying to get those feathers without killing both of those ghosts. <sighs> That's gonna be a pain in the butt. Do I get extras from going in here? This is like a recharge room. No such luck. Uh, 
Why must it remember everything? <sighs> yeah, I am getting toasty here. This fan is not doing the thing that it's supposed to be doing. I know I am uh, getting toasty whenever I start getting foggy vision. Sad, sad folks. All right, Mumbo, what, what have you got for me? Great. See down, everyone, see down. Maybe there's nothing up there? Maybe there is nothing up there. <clears throat> Why can't you be housing a honeycomb or a full supply of Wonder Wing? You know, I bet what's gonna happen is I'm gonna have uh, 96 musical notes. No yellow notes. I'm going to go into the chapel and I'm going to die. <sighs> well, let's just relaxy taxi here, folks. It'll be fine. Kind of absurd, though, that every other monster in this uh, map requires the um, Wonder Wing. It's a little frustrating. <sighs> well, it is pumpkin spice latte season, so this matches. I don't know how much damage the pumpkin takes, but I'm going to go ahead and assume that it is a lot. This uh, game doesn't really pull punches. And the pumpkin, much like most transformations, don't actually, um, doesn't actually have like an attack, which is unfortunate. But here's wondering if other things will actually pay attention to it. Yes, yes, they will. <sighs> such is life, such is life. Okay, let's start looking for some openings. I know that the pumpkin at least can uh, navigate through the murky water without taking damage because uh, pumpkins can withstand poisonous water, right? That's how that works. All right, let's. Whiplash. Okay, so there was nothing there. There's supposed to be a bigger lagoon around here. I wish that it would have stayed open, to be perfectly honest with you. Like once you actually made it through the challenge, it would have been nice for it to just uh, say, you know what, you earned it. You don't have to repeat this uh, crazy run because that's exactly what I'm gonna have to do. <clears throat> nope.
<clears throat> and uh, and then we are back. We did not uh, break any computer equipment. Uh, we did not uh, yell at our loved ones. And uh, we most certainly did not attempt to choke ourselves. That was a silly mistake, wasn't it? Uh, the sort of thing where uh, you just walked into the starting platform uh, pad. And you simply just walk out of the... Uh, walk out of the uh, level and lose all your progress why wouldn't it ask you for a <laughs> why wouldn't it ask you for a confirm I don't I don't know do you know can you please tell me why tell me why ah, we're gonna go and find Cheeto I guess since we're in pumpkin mode I'm gonna try not to fall into the caldera. Now that's a trivia word for you, Caldera. I love pub trivia. And there's our... Uh... <laughs> Well, for what it's worth, at least I got my energy back. Here's the path. I got too cocky um, at the begin uh, at the end of that uh, path. It's like a monkey ball here. I actually don't mind it as much, except it's a time sink. But then again, if I'm speaking generalities, failure is a time sink. Actually, what happens if you just lose all your life in this game? Just go back to load your last save. That would be sad. Ah, here we go. Chato! Give me the Wonder Wing spell, I beg you. get them red feathers might wash the uh, taste of a uh, failure from my mouth if we hadn't made good progress I might have considered uh, just trying on my safe state for that one actually we don't even need the red feathers thing right now um, just because I, I don't find like I actually need them I wonder if I, uh, I am sure that, um, a 
at least according to um, stories uh, with uh, unreferenced uh, history, people have been thrown into volcanoes in order to be uh, sacrificed to deities and whatnot. I wonder. Um, I wonder very morbidly what the people actually uh, falling into a volcano felt before their light was ex extinguished. And uh, I guess m what I'm more trying to... Why can I not outrun it? I'm just I'm just a pumpkin. Um, but yeah, I wonder how, how long you would actually be able to... Uh, how long you would actually be conscious before you just die or lose consciousness. I feel like just the heat from being close to uh, lava will probably make you pass out even before you burn to uh, a crisp. Alright, let's, let's look for the pumpkin related openings. Uh, and of course, Everything is going to attack me now. Like all the enemies that I killed before are just hanging out, ready to pick on me. Uh, I can't believe I just like stepped on that thing. It doesn't even matter that there's a Jiggy here. I'm just. A little frustrated with, with the thing. I think I have to go up. Can I? Uh, no. Good boy, Churro. Where are you going? Oh well. If one of you wants to summon him, let me know. <clears throat> Oh, and of course all the windows are back to normal. So I'm not gonna be able to uh, go into any of them. This is more depressing than I remember. Okay, let's go to Mumble and redo the entire level, I guess. How depressing. Like, hey buddy, you've accomplished nothing. And of course, can anyone tell me why skeletons would be interested in a pumpkin? Can I okay, no of course not, I get I get hits regardless. I can't see through the pumpkin eye. Here, that's that's gotta be worth something. Did I already collect the? Uh... Yeah, maybe I did. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh, that looks like it's clearly my height. 
doesn't cost me anything. Let's see if I missed anything. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Hopefully I remember uh, that I don't have to go back here. Gentlemen, what am I doing with my life? Where's them feathers? Why they're called rafters. They've got nothing to do with rafts. I honestly thought there was another one here, but I guess I'm mistaken. You know what? The first thing I might do is just go into that church and get those, um, get those blasted ghosts. That one really frustrated me. Okay. So the path... The path... It's, it's, it's right there. It just... You just need to... Guys, I am... I'm going insane. I can't take it. Okay, let's see if I can make it through this maze all the way to the beginning. Oh hey, why are you blocking me? Alright, made it the other side. Good. I have to do all that progress all over again. That's frustrating. I guess let might as well just do it one by one. Oh yeah, I was supposed to uh, go to that church. Let's do the church first. At least that way I won't have to go through that pain again. And I think it was through here. <clears throat> yeah, 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 we got it. Of course, of course. Put in a lame stopgap for me, will you? That was beautiful otherwise, by the way. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah. <sighs> Two holes in one. All right, get those blasted notes. And actually, before we do that, uh, let's go ahead and get a refill since we're uh, actually getting close to our Cinderella time. Let's go ahead and uh, be right back.
that's a few too many songs. Okay, and uh, we are back. So to wrap up the evening, I decided to get a uh, Desert City. Uh, what does that say? Blackberry chocolate crumble pastry stout. That's a lot of words that you generally don't associate with beer. So uh, pastry stouts are something that I've only started having very recently. Uh, and uh, one of the breweries that I generally associate it with, with this uh, particular uh, movement, let's call it a movement, is uh, the brewery, um, not the brewery, the bakery. Yeah, that's what I meant, the bakery from, uh, that's actually a subdivision of another uh, brewery. I forget exactly which one. So obviously uh, this one is darker in nature. Stouts tend to have darker grains. They tend to have a slightly more caramel taste. But there's a lot of toast in there. The grains that you use to make stouts are toasted. Um, so you get a, a much darker uh, concoction. Let's go ahead and pour this guy. Uh, and I know I've had this one specifically on stream before simply because I know that I've got at least th three check-ins on my Ale, Ale Wolf account. Um, the reason why I like this one is the reason why I like most sweet stouts. Um, it is, it really is like having a, uh, a pie, a blackberry pie specifically uh, in, in beer form. Uh, I very much like this one. So uh, if you're in the mood for blackberry pie, nay, blackberry crumble, go seek this one out. It's quite, it's quite good. Um, Made uh, made by Devil's Canyon. I, I should have said that. Fang and ale. <sighs> Crisp, light-bodied, but very robust in flavor. Again, some uh, caramel notes there. Definitely some lingering caramel notes there. It opens with that blackberry flavor. A certain slight degree of sourness. It's quite becoming. Let's see what uh, Untap has to say on the matter. So full cocoa blackberry body with bittersweet berry and light stout notes to follow. That's true. Brewed with blackberries, golden oats, chocolate malt, and bourbon barrel aged scotch ale. 100% vegan! Exclamation mark. Um, so for those of you who are vegan out there, this one is definitely one for you. I think, I think most beers are are vegan, but I am not going to make that claim. Uh, let me go ahead and copy this so I can add it to my ticker before we get back onto our adventure. And there it goes. All right, with that, let's go back to Banjo-Kazooie, try and uh, redo all the progress that we failed in the next 20 minutes or so. And let me put my volume back up. Okay. And I think you guys can hear that. Let's go ahead and move on. So the problem here was these blasted ghosts that just kept hammering at me every time that I went up uh, the chairs, which was very frustrating. They just mocked me. Like the bullies at elementary school. Okay, and now at least we know that uh, the Wonder Wing is activated by... Why? Why? Come on, just... See and... Why would it... <sighs> that was actually C, uh, Z and C left, so I, I don't know what that was all about. But I'll take it. All right, let's get let's get our notes. Ladies and gentlemen, I ask for very simple things in life. Musical notes is one of them. I love music. I love Kesha. Why can't I have these things? Okay. 
eliminate. And now let's go back up here. I'm sure that we will be accosted by the ghost. Oh, look at that. Dead. Or as GTA would say, wasted. Alright, let's go back up to Church Oregon. Church Oregon. And get our stuff. Great, I'll grab my stuff. Brownie points for anyone who remembers where that's from. puzzle with this uh, keyboard uh, they decided to make all the cheat codes with uh, the sandcastle which you know I like the sandcastle but I feel like going back to this one stage in the entire game seems a little um, seems like you could have done a little bit better than that <sighs> my rumble pack is vibrating Nothing on the other chandeliers. Bats. Why did it have to be bats? Speaking of bats, I've been uh, watching The Batman, which is the most recent uh, Batman movie. I guess it's already activated. I haven't finished it, I'm probably 30 minutes in. The one thing that I really like thus far is just the mood that the movie sets. It's just so uh, grungy and dark and... Yeah, it's just... I just like that. To this date, my favorite Batman movie is still The Dark Knight, uh, as it is with a million people, of course. Uh, and uh, Batman Returns will always have a special place in my heart, but um, I'm certainly open to other Batman adventures. Here's wondering what the Joker 2 is going to look like. I heard that Lady Gaga is going to be uh, playing uh, Harley Quinn and that might have been a gag post by somebody but I also feel that that would make sense. Also mad love for Lady Gaga, she's amazing. Good. 
and of course a gold feather which is really if this level just had an ample supply of gold feathers it would not be that difficult but because every enemy is uh every other enemy is undead it just presents that level of challenge let's go all the way down see if we can actually make it to the pipe organs and avoid some fall damage. Last time we tried this, it was uh, a fool's errand, as they say. All right, let's see where that thing is. Where, where are you? <sighs> Why, just... Move, you're gonna get hit by this freaking skeleton. Okay, well at least it was only one honeycomb, which I I can live with. I can live with uh, losing one honeycomb. Two honeycombs though, that's, uh, that's anathema. It's not allowed. So let's go back to the first house and uh, get all the musical notes that we failed to get the first time around. Sorry, the musical notes that we got the first time around but were taken away from us violently by stepping onto that Banjo-Kazooie pad. See, and, and of course, it's, 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 it's because the the camera angles are not... We're in a cozy retro corner. Where is that pad? Just want to avoid it. Okay, there we go. Ah, <sighs> you know, it's not often when Aeowulf, uh... The Aeowulf loses his cool, but... It happens. It happens, ladies and gentlemen, and I implore you. Don't let it happen. Ah, portrait Champa. One of the freakiest Champas around. Should check out my VOD to see what happens. <sighs> that would be fun. That would be fun. Okay. And then of course here was a sleeping ghost which we no longer have to worry about. Where are we here? I have to move all my uh, my entire head to actually see where. Uh, the clock is on my start menu. Of course. Guys, what's with all the laughing? What's with all the laughing? Gotten, got some exciting feelings is uh, that Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles collection game that was released a couple weeks back. I'd love another excuse to uh, play Turtles in Time again. 
and of course, uh, maybe give that Teenage Mutant and the Ninja Turtles first Nintendo game a, a shot. I never actually finished it. Um, and I would really like to finish it once in my life. I remember back when I was a kid, I played that uh, non-stop. And I felt like it wasn't even the damn level. It was the level with um, the bigger city level in... Uh, well, the bigger city level, I forget what it's called. World number three. That's where my adventure would stop every time. Like, I made it a couple of times to world four with the Mousers and... I think it was an airport, if memory serves me correct. But, um... Uh, it was mostly that level 3 that just kicked my butt. I remember the boss was like Mega Turtle, which was like an enemy in the original, uh, not the original, the 86 cartoon for like one episode. A lot of the enemies in Ninja Turtles games are like one episode baddies. It's got its, it's, got its charm. But for what it's worth, I, I'd really like to like uh, finish that game once. I would like that memory to take away with me before I die. <sighs> I certainly like quite a few memories before I die. Alright, nothing in here. Coins. No, it doesn't look like it. All right, and some aggy waggies. If anybody ever read *A Clockwork Orange*. in there. Let's go to the second level. Who's chasing me? Who is chasing? Give it chase. I don't actually remember how the pumpkin pumpkin gets up here, but it'll have to. So sad that I lost all that progress. Alright, and where are we on time? Okay, I think I think it's time to call it. <sighs> Sorry about that folks. Sorry about the short stream. Let's uh Let's go back to intermission. And let's k kill this. Let's go ahead and do forecast. Okay, so uh, much better. So um, that was Banjo Kazooie. Uh, unfortunately, unlike other levels, it seems like Mad Monster Mansion is going to take a few more sessions than uh, 
than the other levels. Quite surprising that this is actually the first map that is taking me multiple sessions, but again, it's also just the fact that um, uh, I started late, and then last time we had the mishap with the computer. So apologies if you're expecting quicker progress. Not to worry though, uh, let's, let's take our time. This game is not getting any older. Well, it's actually getting older every second. Um, but you know what I mean. There's, uh, it's not like we're waiting for that banjo Tui sequel on Nintendo 64 Switch. Nintendo, please watch this stream and listen to me. Um, but yeah, uh, if you are so keen, uh, join me tomorrow. I'll be playing... Uh, what will I be playing? It's not uh, Travis Touchdown. It's... Uh, Hades. Ah, yes, Hades. Join me tomorrow as we continue to try to make our way out of Hades using the Shield of Chaos. Uh, and maybe play some Elder, Elden Ring uh, tomorrow at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, have a wonderful rest of your Thursday. Thank you for joining me. And uh, stay thirsty, Elkin. We'll see you again.